fire. We may have forgotten to do an intro to the video. Oops. <laughs> so let us tell you a bit about what we got up to this morning. First, we wandered around the Jewish quarter in Krakow. One of the oldest parts of the city, it was a primarily Jewish area from the 15th century right up to the Second World War, when unfortunately the Jewish people were displaced and sent to live in a ghetto. Now, the Jewish Quarter is a quirky area, full of indie shops, hip bars and, of course, lots of Jewish restaurants. Many of the original buildings remain, including the old synagogue. There are also memorials to remember what happened in World War II and lots of street art. We hope you enjoyed that ultra long b-roll section. Here's where we actually start talking to the camera. It looks like my tattoo. Notice the horrendous bug bites and tan line. <laughs> So we've been walking around the Jewish Quarter for about an hour now and we're absolutely starving. We've come across this little hole in the wall that everybody seems to be eating at, so we're going to check it out. Wow! They're huge! This looks amazing. It's sort of an open toasted sandwich. I've got it with cheese, onion, tomato, bacon, sausage, and cabanos, which is basically Polish sausage. So, three types of pig. <laughs> mm. It tastes even better than it looks. Mm. It was a struggle, but we finished them somehow. Now we've had some lunch, we're heading over the old town to explore some of the historic streets. Shall we walk or get a tram? Crawl. Tram. <laughs> The old town of Krakow was surrounded by a giant wall during medieval times. Behind me is the Barbican and it's the last surviving section of that wall, built in 1498. Next to the Barbican is Florian's Gate, which is even older. It was built in the 1300s. walking down Florian Street which is where the merchants used to live and is a medieval part of the city although it's been modernized a little bit now St Mary's Basilica the massive church behind me is one of the best examples of Polish Gothic architecture in the city. Apparently they play the trumpet from one of the towers 24 hours a day, every day of the year, but I can't hear anything. <laughs> I don't know if they still do it or if that's something they used to do historically. Wikipedia didn't tell me. Rynek Glovny, probably saying it wrong, or Main Square is obviously <laughs> the main square in the old town of Krakow. It's pretty impressive. This square is stunning. It's the sort of place I could spend the entire afternoon taking photographs, but we're in the middle of a heat wave here in Poland. So we're gonna go and get an iced coffee. Oh 
I got it. Now we're caffeinated. Our final stop for the day is Woolwall Castle and hopefully a fire breathing dragon. we arrived at Woolwall Castle one minute after it closed so we can't go in. Instead we're going to admire it from the outside and give you some of our favourite facts. For centuries it was the residence of the Kings of Poland. It was the first ever UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built in the 13th and 14th centuries. The oldest parts of the castle can be traced back to 970 AD. That's pretty old. And that's enough facts for now. How do we get out of this castle? There are so many pathways, it's very confusing. It feels like it's about to rain and we still haven't done the thing that I've been most looking forward to here in Krakow. See the dragon breathe fire. We found the dragon statue. Apparently it brews fire every five minutes, so fingers crossed we get to see some fire. While Dale is getting some really pretty shots of the dragon breathing fire, I'm going to show you the reality of the situation. As we kind of expected, it's absolutely full of people, which is fine, you know, it's a cool thing to do, but we just don't want you thinking that you'll come here and be the only people around, because you won't. What a way to end our time in Krakow. Today has been really fact heavy, we're sorry about that. Let us know if you like the facts or if you prefer it when we just wander around aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's been an amazing way to end our time in Krakow and Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it really has been an absolutely incredible day. Next time you see us, we'll be heading towards the Tatras Mountains where we'll be hiking. To pop, yeah? As soon as I said that, the people just all disappeared. <laughs> Probably because the dragons just breathe fire and that's what they've been waiting for. I promise it was full of people two minutes ago. Where have the tourists gone? <laughs> <laughs>